Hi, my name is Steve Brostowitz, a teacher with Transitional Kindergarten, Kindergarten, and First Grade. Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can make subtraction games for your class. One game that the kids love is the subtraction contraption. This will take a little work on your part, but once you have it built, every kid's going to want to do the expected behavior so they can come up and get a turn with the contraption. The contraption is anything like this. Build something long and high where you can place numbers in with your minus sign and your equal sign. And then you have the ramp. And what does this say, kids? Four. So you put your four up on the platform. One, two, three, four. And of course, you're going to want to remember to place this high while the kids are sitting on the carpet. It's on a table in front of the class so the other kids can see while the one child demos for the rest of the class before it's their turn. And how many are we going to take away? And it says three. And then three go down. And then the kids love to zoom them in here. All right, we took away three. How many are left? And then the kids get to pick their answer and place their card here. Do you agree with them, class? And then they all give their sign, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever signal you worked on ahead of time. This keeps everyone else involved. The other game that you want to do is in the environment. Take the kids out and make use of your campus. The key on this one is when you get to your new area, have everyone sit down on the ground. Otherwise, you get a bunch of kids roaming around and not being focused on your lesson. So you say, OK, class, I have five kids on top of the slide. Who wants to come up and do that? And they all volunteer, of course, because they're kindergartners. They want to do it. You pick the five kids that are listening with their quiet signals up, eyes on you, focused face, and the five kids go on top of the slide. And then you say, two went down. And then the first two kids go down. All right, class, how many are left? And a choral response, three. OK, who's ready to go to the next area campus for our campus word problem? Of course, all the kids want to go. And of course, all the kids want to participate. So you make sure you keep that in their mind when you say, all right, if you want to participate, we're walking in a straight line. And then you get to the tricycles. OK, who's coming up? We had six tricycles. Four kids right away. How many are left? And the chorus responds with the answer. And they're always wondering, where are we going next? And they always want to participate. And that keeps them focused on the lesson. Meanwhile, they're getting subtraction word problems acted out in front of their very eyes. As an added bonus, you could have kids with portable whiteboards or chalkboards writing the equations as you go. This is Steve Brostowitz having explained a couple of subtraction games you can play with your class. I'll see you next time.